Welcome to video 147 in series 3, and now we'll make a start on writing the state scripts for the NPC AI. Okay, so I'm going to make a new scripts folder, a new folder for the NPC stuff, so I'll just call it NPC scripts. Alright, inside of it, make our first NPC script. I'm going to call it NPC state underscore interface. So this is going to be an interface script. And it's just a way of doing this, of creating a, like a state machine AI. It's not the only way, but um, it's a way that the Unity technology shows in their tutorials and it works really well. So I've uh, chosen to also go that same path. It does work very well. Okay, first of all, all of these methods are irrelevant. So just delete them all. And even uh, the way this is uh, declared, the whole opening is not relevant either, so we need to change that. All right, so I'm going to select it all, and I already cut the code. So I'm going to replace it all with public interface. So that's what, it's not a class, it's an interface, public interface. And as per the file name, NPC state underscore interface. Okay, so it doesn't inherit from mono behavior. You don't attach the script. Uh, to anything. Now each of our state scripts are going to derive from this interface and what it'll mean is that each of the state scripts must have an implementation for these methods. So we're just making these up. So the first one is void update state and just write it like how you see update state uh, with the two round brackets and uh, then void to patrol state void to alert state void to pursue state void to melee attack state and void to range attack state and that's it for the interface script this is going to say that each script that derives from this must have uh, these methods inside of them so let's save that and let's keep moving on i'm going to make a new c sharp script and this one is npc state underscore patrol. This state script has no need of any of these methods, and in fact we can't use them, so none of the on enable, on disable start, because it's not going to derive from mono behavior, but we're going to derive from the interface script. So get rid of all of that, and say it derives from npc state interface. That's what it's going to come from. Now it will be complaining here because there you go, it tells us it does not implement interface member, blah, 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 update state. So we have to write methods inside of this script uh, that do implement uh, each of those uh, items. Okay, and there we go. So I've just copied and pasted. What you could do is just go to the interface, copy all of these, replace the round, uh, well, not the round bracket, sorry, the semicolon with two curly brackets with two curly braces. The first one is public void update state. The second one to patrol state, then to alert state, to pursue state, to melee attack state, to range state, uh, to range attack state. So what's going to happen is when I come to finally putting in some code for them, I'll just, uh, you know, just open it up like that, uh, like, uh, and then write the method out. So it's just a method. So at the moment, they're all empty, and we've got uh, eight more to write. So we're just going to do that. We're just going to set these up. Uh, it probably doesn't make sense at the moment what is going on. It'll make sense later. Well, uh, as we uh, once we write the state pattern script, and you start seeing um, things in action, and we fill out these scripts as well. Uh, so probably you're gonna, it's going to take around 10 or more videos till it starts to sink in what is actually going on here. So next, I'm going to write the next state script. This one is NPC state alert. I once again, delete all the methods inside of it and change it so that it uh, in it uh, extends. Uh, sorry, it it derives from the uh, NPC state interface. All right, good. Now just go over to the patrol script and just copy all of these methods and uh, just paste them in. Okay, so that one that one is done. Let's do the next one. So now we will write the uh, NPC state pursue. So that's NPC state underscore pursue. Open it up. 
get rid of all of the methods. You know what to do. Let's set a mono behavior, NPC state interface. Good. Uh, copy all of those methods over. Save. Let's get to the next one. Okay, now we make another C-sharp script. This one is NPC state underscore flea. Get rid of all of the methods once again. Change it from mono behavior to NPC state interface. And none of these scripts, by the way, attach to any game objects. Only a mono behavior, something that derives from mono behavior, only that can uh, attach to a game object. These are quite different. They get created. We're going to create them at runtime for each um, NPC. We'll create all of these uh, state scripts at runtime. You'll see that later. Uh, and they, they're not attached anywhere. They're just in memory. And then they're used uh, accordingly. They have, we're using the Unity engine. You'll see it's quite interesting. We can use all the uh, Unity stuff, but uh, we can't use anything that was from Mono Behavior. And that's no problem at all, which you'll see later. Sorry, I keep saying that. So let's go ahead and uh, just grab these methods, drop them in, save, let's move on. Okay, the next one is npc state underscore follow. All right, let's delete all of those methods, change it to npc state interface, and of course, paste in all of those methods. Next, we have npc state underscore melee attack. Once again, replace all of the methods. We'll delete all of the methods rather and replace mono behavior, npc state interface, and paste in uh, those methods. Good. All right, the next state is npc state underscore range attack. Let's delete all of the methods. Replace mono behavior, npc state interface. So it's a big system we're putting together. Okay, next one. Make the next state script. This is npc state underscore struct. Once again, delete all the methods. Change it to npc state interface. All right, brought in the method, saved. Okay, so our last state script, that's npc state underscore investigate harm. And you can make, like, if you wanted more and more behaviors, that's what you would do. You'd create more of these state scripts. And then with your state pattern, uh, you could determine other ways to get into those different states or through the scripts themselves, however you want to do it. That's basically it. What what it is, so I probably should have explained that, is that each state script is a set of behaviors, a, a, just a portion of code that makes the NPC do something. Uh, so while one state is running, none of the others are running. So it's very efficient. You're, we're not using like... Um, uh, a whole long list of checks of all of the types of behaviors at once. Instead, when the NPC moves into a certain state, it only runs a certain bit of code. When it moves into another state, for example, from patrol to pursue, it now only runs the pursue code, and it doesn't run any code from the others. So it's nice and efficient that way. All right, so for this one, delete all of the methods change it to npc state interface and paste in those methods okay so we are done we've written just the empty structure for the nine states we've got the uh, interface script of course there's absolutely nothing happening uh, we what we need to do now is to make a state pattern script that'll at least get us going uh, it is a very it's a big script full of uh, information and um, and decision making as well and then each of these behaviors each of these states they need to be populated uh, with what is supposed what the npc is supposed to be doing while it is in that state and how it transitions to other states how it gets into other states and uh well that's what we'll be doing for the next whatever 10 more probably 11 videos all right anyway so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video